Hi my friends, today I will try to say my opinion, my experience about film 35mm uh, film cameras. I will go from the cheap one to the expensive one and sorry for my English, it's not my native, but I will try. Okay, in my opinion every photographer must have uh, at least one film camera at home because film photography is like history and because we are shooting right now in digital cameras uh, it's because of 35 mil film film cameras and I think you should know a little bit of history you need to hold a little bit of that time era what have happened and uh, to understand uh, some basics maybe some photography basics and to you, you you must know to use manual cameras it's it's something like if you have a car with a manual gear gearbox you must know to how to drive uh, i know all the new cars are like al almost new, all new cars are like uh, automatic gearbox but at least if you are pro or it's your hobby you must know how to drive manual gear and here is the same you must know how to shoot film I know the cheapest we will go from the cheapest one uh, till the most expensive one we will talk about only 35 mil okay the first one is Zenit 11 uh, the same must be Zenit A. It's the cheapest one. You can get it very cheap at the eBay because there are a lot of the production wasn't so qualitative and the price is uh, very good. You can buy any camera, but in my advice, you need at least be metal and. Uh, from functions you must change your diaphragm uh, manual focusing and uh, choose your shutter speed this will give you full manual control of your camera and you don't forget it while using okay uh, the biggest problem of this camera is it's not so good viewfinder it's a dark blurry and with a mist you can see this is like uh, it have a crack and the viewfinder wasn't so qualitative for these cameras a lot of cameras don't work exposure meter it's here it's working i will describe a little bit uh, okay I close the window and this little line goes down like it's dark. I am opening and it's going here. You need to manually put it here like in the center and this circle will show you what kind of uh, settings you need to put to the camera. Shutter speed and diaphragm. Okay, the cheapest one. Uh, in eBay you can find a lot of variations but this is like cheapest one from a metal and I like it this is from my father this is father's camera okay next one a little bit more expensive is Nikon FA1 and FM1 sorry I don't have this version 1 I will show you on my version 2 and it costs on eBay approximately 100 euros. Uh, with version 1 you can shoot from uh, one film, like you know, film is 36 frames, but you can get 39 from these cameras. <coughs> uh, in my advice, uh, I like this camera more because you have like automatic exposure settings here uh, I will show you in viewfinder let's try look at the left you see in auto mode it's 
putting automatically the shutter speed depending uh, what's your other, other settings. Uh, it will help you that you need put only uh, the diaphragm and manually focus. In some situations you put it in auto mode, put diaphragm you need and the only need to focus and to shoot. Focus and shoot. It's it's like easy, easy one. With model FM you don't have uh, auto but you have here like see in a right corner you have plus minus and circle circle is showing like it's it's a perfect exposure and this is the reason why you all the all time when the light is changing you need to put right uh, exposure with the shutter speed and diaphragm and then focus to your subject or 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 landscape or something like that the next is uh, my advice to to buy fm2 or fa2 from first versions the difference uh, the main difference is in shutter speeds you have a very fast one you can use it with more light lenses this is the main difference uh, you can shoot with 1.4 outdoors and this fast fast shutter speeds will, will help you uh, one more advice uh, from this uh, budget you can buy like Nikon F1 or Nikon F2 they are in the same price like previous one but previous cameras was like for hobbyists and enthusiasts but this is like a pro cameras reporters uh, port portrait photographers who photography was a job they have a big uh, viewfinder model here which uh, you can change it this is like like a new feature that is changeable uh, they're bigger more heavier uh, the exposure meter is here it's showing when the light is correct it will be in the middle bigger heavier uh, I think uh, build quality is better it will last longer for you and the price is the same if you need something light it's not for you because these cameras are heavy okay let's go next one and now something special is like Nikon FM3A or F3 I will put it here more expensive more interesting I will call this camera it's like cult camera uh, it's small it's light it's functional I like this more but you can buy them for the similar price I think FM3 will be more expensive it's a new newer camera better build uh, this is like last one before they started to use a plastic cheap plastic and the cameras was very very ugly ugly I think this is like a very good looking camera and you can buy it in a very good condition right now in eBay something about 500 euros okay but if you want something more specific and more special my advice is to buy Leica M3 it's here F fully mechanical no batteries uh, this thing here is for light metering you see I am closing here it's this line is going up showing less light right now more and yes this is like 
fully mechanical very good built camera all parts you can replace or repair uh, cost about 1000 euros a little bit more I think this is the most sexiest ca sexy camera in the market you can buy from used one I like it the most from all and the next one is Leica MP you can choose MP, M6 or a MI uh, you can buy it right now in a store if you are a millionaire, millionaire or rich guy you just go to the Leica store and buy Leica M6, MP or MI if you like Leica and you don't have a lot of money you can buy like M3 or M6 used one I was lucky to catch used one MP some time ago I like it it's a small you can put it in one hand I love it and you have a battery here for exposure for met metering I will try to show you if it will be possible oh, with this camera I can't show you there's something similar to Nikon where is a dot and arrows showing exposure is correct or no Leica MI don't have it it's it's fully manual but don't worry if you buy some cheap used camera and it don't show you exposure or exposure meter is dead you can just download on your phone app some light meter something like that and it will show you what kind of shutter speed or diaphragm you need to set up to get a correct light settings okay this is like my little setup which I like I was collecting it like 20 years step by step a little bit changing buying the first was like uh, FM1 and F FA1 then I upgraded it to second version I understand the pluses and minuses for them and the first was from my father like Zenit any questions welcome to the comment and put a like thank you